Okay, you ready? So, we're, we're going to make a gift card pop-up. I don't know. Pop-up holder. So, it's going to look like that. Yeah. So, um, so it's meant to look like a present. Yeah. Not really a Christmas card. I think more of a, you know, thank you to your whoever, whoever card. Um, I guess you could make it a Christmas card. Of course, now I can't get my belly band on. All right. Here's another one. And I, I, I took the belly band off and I went into a cleaning frenzy, the, 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 uh, cleaning frenzy. And I don't know what I did with it, but you'd have a belly band around here. So this is just another one. That's what I did with put a little Starbucks card in there. The, paper. Yeah, it is pretty paper. That's poinsettia. The other way to do this, we're going to do this one, and but I'll give you the measurements to another way to do it. And I, I haven't quite finished this one. Hold on. But this would be another way to do it. So this would go, your card would go in here, right? Like that. So I'll give you the measurements to that one later. But we're going to do this one. Who's doing this with me? Me. Me. I am. I am. Okay. So, um, you've cut your piece of cardstock here at five and a half inches by nine. The only thing about this is it, it kind of wastes. Like, this one you'll get two cards out of one cardstock. Yeah. This one won't because it's a bit of an odd size to get this to work. But, um, five and a half by nine inches is what you want and then you're gonna and it doesn't get an envelope correct yeah yeah you can put this in an envelope will it fit in the envelope yeah that'll fit in an envelope okay. yeah that's why it's an odd size not okay. odd size but that's you know you know if you know what i'm saying i could do that by eight and a half but then it would be half inch smaller mm -hmm. so i just did it by i did it to make it fit into an envelope so it feel like a normal card okay, oh, okay. yeah okay. So then you're going to score this piece at one and three quarters and then six inches. So one and three quarters and then six inches. Okay, so this is going to be your top up here. This is going to be your bottom. So if you want to go ahead and decorate that, that was the, I think I gave you, oh, the only thing is I think I oopsed in my um, designer paper. I think I told you one and three quarters. Can you see this? Is that big? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You didn't say one and three quarters. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> one and a half. Mm. I know. Well, at least it's not the opposite direction. Okay, so you let we'll, we're gonna decorate this first. So um, I gave you instructions just for the DSP. If you want to layer this, um, I have put. If you want to layer this, just make it one eighth of an inch bigger than your DSP paper. Does that make sense? I know a lot of you don't like yeah. eighth of an inches, but too bad. Can we go step back one sec? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, when you scored your um, five and a half by nine, you scored it at one and three quarters first. Yeah, and then at and six. And then you score it at six. The six also includes the one and three quarters, correct? You, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, then it'll fold like this, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, got it. Thank you. Okay, so if you've got your designer paper, go ahead and... Um, Glue that to the top. So you said it's supposed to be one and a half, not one and three quarters? That's correct. One and a half by five and a quarter. And if you want to layer it, like I'm going to layer it with a little white piece behind it. So I just increased my measurement by one eighth. It makes for a tiny border, but that's kind of what I wanted. But you don't have to. You don't have to layer it if you don't want to. I just wanted to. That's kind of how I doesn't matter you can do whatever you want to do 
just like that. I mean, conversely, you could make your DSP an eighth of an inch smaller if you wanted more of a border. I just kind of like it that way. Just like that. All right, that's going to be my top flap. And on my bottom flap, you know, listen, if you didn't want it to look like a present, you could just put a different DSP on the bottom, right? Like you could fill the whole bottom yeah. with something mm -hmm. if you wanted. Um, I want mine to look like a present. So I have, I cut mine a little wider. Depends on how you like it. I wanted mine a bit wider than what I did before. So I made mine seven eighths, this piece, I think, yes. And then I made this one inch. It's kind of up to, hmm, kind of however you see it looking good on your, and then you're just gonna add that to the center, right? Make it look like a bit of a gift box. You all with me so far? Yep. Yep. Ooh, it's been a while. I got shaky hands. <laughs> no shaky hands allowed. Did you find your dia your tape runner? No. Nope. Oh, do you have glue? We're using double sided tape. Oh, wow, that works. Yeah. Stuck at your ass for a while if you put it in the wrong spot. That is true. Did I add ribbon to your instructions? Yeah, I think I said, yeah. yeah. So, you know, eyeball this, unless you wanna get your ruler out. I'm just gonna. No, as soon as we're done, I'm gonna find that jam tape runner. Yeah, you're, you're gonna find it when Zoom is over. Yeah. Cause that's Murphy's Law. Okay. Tell me when you're at this place. Okay. I'm slow, but I can catch up. Okay. I'm doing uh, two at once, so it's my own fault. Oh, well, you're allowed to do that. All right, I'm just going to put that aside for a sec. I'm going to take the inside piece. And this inside piece is five and a half by four and three quarters. So five and a half by four and three quarters. Now, uh, sometimes I get this mixed up, but essentially it's going to go in like this with some scores. So make sure, so we're going to actually do our scoring on the longest side here, the five and a half. So it's going to go like this into your, into your whatever, score tool, cutting tool. And you're going to score that at half an inch. In from the left, that's going to be your little uh, top, and then four and an eighth. Now the eighth is really important, and I'm going to show you why in a second. If you don't want to do the eighth, you can do four; doesn't matter. Just don't go past four and an eighth. What so are we scoring it at? Half sc an inch and four and one eighth. Yeah. So just like your paper says in the corner there. Correct. On the long side, though. Correct. So here's my long side. Like that. It was a half an inch and what? Half an inch and four and an eighth. Yeah. Yeah. So once you've done that, the half inch you can fold uh, over. Oh, my hands got glue all over them. I need my baby wipe. Gotta be a better way to get glue off your fingers. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so 
this part gets folded down and then this little piece gets folded up just like that simple can you say that again so here's fold my fold it up. yeah fold the half inch at the top fold it down and then the bottom's going to get folded up this is actually where your gift card's going to go and it's going to hide in this pocket like that and come up and down so this part the second part when you tape it down um what, i lost my tape oh. i happen to have one eighth of an inch of suquang um the only reason why I taped mine skinnier is because of the stamp set that I used on on this one. Uh, is that true? Am I lying? No, I'm not lying. I wanted this card to be able to go as far off to the right as possible and still have my stamp set fit, which is why I used a very narrow Suquang tape. So if you don't have Suquang, you can use glue and just put a little tiny strip of glue instead to make it a narrow, narrow piece. And then take that off and then, oh, okay. And then just secure that down. So you've got a little pocket here. Make sense? You can do a sentiment later if you want. You don't have to do it now, but at least um, this is your template. So you can leave today and make a bunch of them. Can you say again, I'm sorry, I'm really slow. That's okay. How, how you tape the white inside the... Yeah, so, the right, so yours is gonna be open. This flap's gonna be down, right? Let's see if I got, um, and I just put tape right on the edge here, on the inside, on the edge here, right on the edge, close as you can get it. Okay. And then flip. On the short edge. Yeah. On the, on the flap. Oh, on the inside to make a pocket. Correct. Oh. Correct. I don't know why I'm so tired today. Did you all get up like at 6 a.m. because you're the time change? I saw up until 6.30. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's catching up with me or something. I don't know. Feeling tired. Was all that work we did yesterday, Rose? I know. <laughs> that was a lot of work. All right. Where are we all? Are we waiting for the next step? Yep. Okay, so you're going to put some tape or some glue up here. Don't do anything just yet. Just watch me. You're going to put some tape or some glue up here. And I want you to put it, here's your top flap. I want you to put it like just above the score line. Don't put it on the score line or it'll bind when you go to close it. So it needs to be, um, this is why I wanted you to do that four and an eighth. So when you close it, and then when it, when it gets popped down, it'll go to the bottom of your card. If you didn't do a four and an eighth, it would bind. Does that make sense? So put it above. So I'm going to put some, I'll put some tape on this. And make sure you're at least an eighth of an inch above. These fake nails are not helping me. My no nails are not helping either. <laughs> so eyeballed left and eyeballed is up. What? I can't even talk. I'm eyeballing my center left right. I'm gonna, there. I feel blind today. I don't know what's going on. And then put that down. Just like that. Makes sense. So now I have this little flap. 
Everybody okay with that? I'm not. <laughs> you don't count, Mike. <laughs> hey, tall Leslie. Hi, stranger. Long time no see. Yeah. I know, long time no see anybody. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so once you've done that, now you can put a strip of glue or tape on your flap at the bottom. And you can fold this up. Oh, cool. Oh, sounds like Brenda's ahead ahead of me. Did you do it? I just figured out how the how the thing works, the flap works. Yeah. Oh. So I guess you never really ever see that folded portion at the bottom anyways, right? Correct. So now you have a card that folds and room for your room for your card. See, so whoa, someone's someone's really taping. That is me. I've, I've messed it up, so I'm improvising. Oh well, you can improvise. And it seems to be working for me. So I'm Grab some a ribbon, stamp the inside, and how easy was that? Oh, that's cool. You know, you can do a belly band up here if you want, but I just thought if I did ribbon, it would look like a little present, right? So um, if you want to, I can email this to you. Do you guys want me to email you the measurements? Yes, please. So I'll email that. And I have measurements for this style. Do you want this one too? Yes. Okay. So I will email those to you along with the Double Wonder um, card PDF that some of you missed. Yes, please. Thank you. And then you'll have that. So.